It's Monday morning and we're on episode 28 of the Dog Girl Diaries. This morning I was back literally finishing a little, little bit of that big house site. Um, I had to finish real quick because Graham's here in the tractor trail to pick me up. The lorry is still in the garage, um, won't get it back and I was desperate to get this machine on to the next job so here he is. Game save the day again. Huh? Oh, don't. You're putting chains on it. Yeah? You're putting chains on it. I wasn't going to bother, but it's still there. Better to keep your followers happy on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> So the job I'm going to now is another new house site, um, which we've done with the same people. I didn't do YouTube by then. It's a cracking spot up there, a beautiful view, but the access is absolutely terrible. So it'll be a main road job to get the digger off. Hopefully it's not that too, too busy at 11 o'clock on a Monday morning. So we should just get it off and up the hill quickly. Then we've got to go and try and sort a dumper and get a dumper there too. Another tidy up soil site. Um, it's not a good day for it. It's absolutely pouring down. There's been a wee break in it just now, but it is what it is. We'll see if um, I'll try and get Graham to stay and he want to dig or I can dump dumper. I don't care, I just want to get it done. It's so handy when someone else is there to help you, give you a hand. So yeah, let's go and get it off. Graham is getting the long straw. Cause I'm so good Tom, typical. Oh, comfy, yeah. So we went and picked up that little dump bar, but I'm gonna go on it because it's wet. I'm gonna let Graham have a shot at the demo. Right, so see if you can get your used to Lift up. No, see what's So he's not used to the rotor tilt because I have what's in this one? The spinny. Spin and then the tilt on this one. I'm tilting what that one? You want it the other way about? I don't know. You don't know how you want it? No. <laughs> right, try it. Uh, oh yeah, that might be it. Is it? I think so. Do you want to try and make a wee ramp for me and see how you get on? So Graham used to work with a Encon, so he has got experience in a um, tilt rotator, but as he said that it has been a while. Um, but I'll give him a little go, sure it'll be fine. So it's this area here we're making all into that topsoil, take it down here. That obviously dumper is not ideal for having, but it's all we could get on higher today. Obviously our nine tons too big for being up here. I'm going to get Graham to make a wee track up here just so we can go up and dump the dump the soil. Well, Graham sorts that out. I'll get my skins on. Honestly, I don't even mind going and dump her. Oh, famous last words. One bucket will almost do it. Ah, uh, no bad. <laughs> Looks like we'll be here a while. Here we are. It's a skill now, boy. Look at that view. Obviously, it's not so nice today, but on any other day it would be. We're also getting there now. It's actually quite amazing how much it's been done walking the shift. I'm just trying to make the most of it while here because he won't be here. See? Getting there. Slowly but surely. Getting the hang of that roll of tilt. Yeah, right? Not bad for a Not bad for a tractor driver. I can give you a few lessons if you want. You just have to move that stuff over for me because 
I can only get up there on a dumper. But yeah, I'm he's enjoying having a little play about in it. That's us done for today. I'll see you tomorrow. It's Tuesday morning and here's a sight you've not seen in a long time because neither have I. My girl. So this is, Sandy's come to pick this up for truck show and as you can see it is in no state ready for a show. Look at that. Look how much I've not used it. And that's because I've had the demo for the last, um, oh, <laughs> pretty much since plant works. I've not been in this at all. It's not been greased, it's not been anything. So it's far from show ready. But anyway, I don't know when I'm gonna get to do it, but show is on, this machine's been on Thursday. And I've not even cleaned the tracks out, but I literally have no time. I literally came straight here. If our Laurie was here, I could have taken this back up, but obviously Sandy will not get down here with the unit and active anyway, so I need to track it up to the roadside. Um, and it'll be a load the road job, but thankfully it's just a B road, so it should be fine. It shouldn't be too busy. Famous last words. Look at the absolute mess of it. Oh. That's him arrived. All them people up there were just loving my digger. They wanted to see me working. I was like, you'll have to go and watch my YouTube. <laughs> See you on Thursday. Thank you. The little miss. I don't like GoPros, I just went and bought the Hero 11. I had a Hero 9 before, but got rid of it because I didn't like it. So, just went and bought myself a new one to get extra good content for you guys. I also got this, a dog harness, so we can do it a day in the life of Dipper. Was that something you'd like to see? And then just all a little bits and bobs to look after, because um, I'm not the best with stuff like this and looking after equipment. Like this stuff. Diggers are fine. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Right, that's me back in the demo, back at the job I was at yesterday. The weather is a little bit better today. Get that stunning view, because I know how much you like the view. I am um, jumping between the wee dumper and the digger today. It's fine, because it's dry. Um, just get the rest of the soil around the house here. Hopefully get it spread. I've also got to do a video, a review on the 85-5, because it will be going away. Hopefully not, but any day now. Hopefully get this job out of the way before they come pick it up. And I love that I can do a review for you guys on this machine because obviously I can compare it to my one and it's new out. So like I've done with the 60, I'll be keeping it real as possible. So that'll be another video for you coming out. Probably be a special, look at that. It's actually solid. I'm gonna have to try and give it a wee scrape out, get a shovel and give it a wee clean out. Let's go get some muck shifting done. Pressure's now on. I've just had a call from Kubota saying that they're picking the machine up tomorrow morning. And I need to get this done, like li literally need to get this done by the end of today. Because we have no other machine with rubber tracks available. Um, our Takuchi is two hours away on a job. Oh, it's a tar, like have to unload it on the main road. You've seen the other day. This is literally going to be so bloody tight. I've still got all that soil to move there. Tidy up round there. Clear this mess, put type one here. Oh my goodness. Get this machine tidied up, ready to go, grease it. Ugh. Yeah, better get going. There we are, that's that all tidied up. I done a little like terrace bit, like split it just because it was really steep. Um, so if they want to plant something along the line there, then they can. Just gonna tidy up this mess here. Get, oh no, tidy up this, tidy up that bit at the back and then I'm not bothered with gravel. As long as I get the main stuff done with that machine, then it can go in the morning. Hey, that's me all finished for the day. It is nearly seven o'clock and I've got such bad mum guilt. It's school holidays and I'm working this late. But I had to get this job finished before this demo goes. I was told it was going to be the morning, so I was like rushing like mad all day to get all this finished up. There's still need type one up there, but I can do that with a mini digger. I just want to get all that done with the road hotel. And it turned out, I just phoned the driver there and he said they're not coming until lunchtime. So, but anyway, at least it's all done. 
Mum guilt's on point, but I did organise them to go horse riding today, so hopefully they're not too bad spirit because um, I've done that for them. See you guys tomorrow. We're on Wednesday morning. This morning I've come out to pick up. I'm actually really gutted I never got to try these out, but I didn't have a job for them, so there's not much that can be done about it, unfortunately. Dad had a go off the grab. So we've got the grab and the compaction plate. Hopefully I'll get another shot at it another time, but things work out. So um, I'm just going to use a wee 60 here in the yard to load them on there. Where the um, machine is, we're loading that in the road. So we can't be loading attachments and stuff on the main roads. So we're going to have to take them somewhere else to load. I need to go and, I think I'll put them by the beam. That's at the other place where we leave half our stuff. It's a wee bit I, off beating track for the truck driver, but there's nothing else that can be done about it. I've already told him about it as well. Oh, I need some WD-40 in these. Yeah, so let's get these loaded up. Go get the tracks cleaned out before the driver comes also. Give it a wee clean out too. <laughs> Worst thing about operating the machine, cleaning them out. Right, that's the tracks all cleaned out as much as I can do. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of bits of mud because I don't have any water, but. It's pretty bloody good at that. Um, I'm now going to go ahead and give the whole thing a grease. Whatever we, like it's not just demo machines we would do this to. If we hire anything of anybody, we'll make sure it is cleaned, greased. If it's hired, full of fuel. And I'm just going to give the floor and the cab a quick polish up and then that'll be it. Go on to the, I'm going to say next person. It's not, this one's actually going to go down and get extra ballast put on the back of it which will pretty, be pretty cool to see after. We'll have an extra weight in the front, that will come as an option, so there'll be extra ballast and there will be shorter dipper as well if you're going to put a tilt rotator on it. But yeah, let's glue that. are job done it's just as easy as that i don't know if it's because we look after our own machines and that's how we like them to be handed back or looked after not that we give them to anyone nobody will probably notice the work that i've just put in but i'll know right now we've got to wait sit and wait to see when they're going to come and pick it up we also hired this one ton dumper from the local um, builders Still gonna have to give it a clean out for them and clean off. It's nice to be nice, right? just going to get turned and then he'll be coming here to pick me up. Um, the road is absolutely heaving down there today so hopefully we'll get on without any hassle and then that'll be it gone. We are, 
car, that's all loaded up and ready to get going. Right, I was waiting on these bags to get the rest of my merch packed. I'm um, taking all this down with us to the truck show on Friday. Shows on Saturday and Sunday, but the shop's going down tomorrow morning, the container. So ideally I want to get all this packed and somehow up to Sandy's to the container by then. I don't have that much more to pack. I've only got one, two, three boxes <laughs> to fold and pack. So yeah, let's get this done. So it's 20 past nine. I am just um, heading up to Sandy's to container to drop off all my merch. I've got it all ready to go. I'm not going to get a chance before to get it in the container before it goes to the show. Um, so I got the kids to bed, got them sleeping and as I never drive up to Sandy's and then back down to my mum's. So totally ready for my bed now but this better all be worth it. <laughs> It's Thursday morning and this morning I am in the car heading down to Glasgow. I'm heading down to a CITB open day to meet some apprentices or people who are keen on doing apprentices and having a chat with them and walking around the college and stuff. Which will be nice because it's nice to let other people know and younger people that there is another way to life rather than just going to university and college. I know CITB is a college but it's apprenticeship so you're half and half and that's what I've done so I know about it firsthand and feel like I can talk about it very confidently. So yeah, let's go down there and see how we get on. That's me just arrived down at CITB. It's a beautiful day, a nice drive down. Let's go and speak to some people. Well that's my day done at CITB, it was a great day. I had good fun, I love speaking to apprenticeships, apprentices and talking them into why apprenticeships are good. So yeah, now it's truck fest prep. So I'm back here again. I went down to Melix's there to see if they needed a hand doing anything because I'm not doing much tonight anyway, but through in Paisley, the digger's all done, merch is all done, thanks to Sandy. Um, and they asked if I'd come get some bits from Eurocentral Scanny. So that's what I've came and done, I'm a little run around. So I'll come get these parts now, I'll go back and see if they want anything else done, I'll give them a hand wash or whatever else they need be. Got the parts, let's go back and let them fit it. Final prep, getting on here. This is a beauty I'll be driving through. So of course, Ian's truck's coming. <laughs> he told me. <laughs> He told me he just has to give it a quick wash. Look at the state of it. <laughs> then that one's going through too. The 580. It's tidy. Right, you've all seen Ian's um, 770, the crane lorry. From the outside, I've jumped in it. It's totally not show ready at all. Maybe I should clean it for him or maybe I should just do some pictures and some videos and um, let him just clean it himself. And this is her tea cab, I'm not sure if you've seen it before. Probably have. I drove this in 2021 over to Truckfest. It's an absolute belter. But that's undercover now to get all polished up. I love this. Our style they've got in all the trucks. Look at this belter. Oh. Man of many talents. <laughs> Back on the tools. Back on the tools, boy. We're getting them. It's looking tidy. You see a yoke? What? Headboards on. It's looking good, isn't it? We're getting there. What's got to get done? Side What's getting on them? Just heavy haulage and side Heavy haulage. Oh, heavy haulage, yeah. <laughs> Oh. That's tidy. It 
it's Thursday morning and I'm in my Alex's brand new truck. It's not Thursday morning, it's Friday morning, but anyway, look at it. The boys were working late last night getting the lights and stuff sorted, so it's not dingied, but love um, opportunities like this getting to jump in a truck. So this is the truck I'm taking. I'm going to give it a clean out, a hoover out. Um, it's not actually that bad, it's just a bit of dirt and rubbish. Um, there's been a few different drivers on it, but you can see it's still pretty well looked after. Get away clean lane and that'll be it. Full prep is now underway. It's four o'clock, maybe we'll get there today. That is us finally truck face behind. There's me, Archie behind us, and then there's another two coming behind them. Morning, it's Saturday morning. It's quite early, I think. It's seven o'clock now. Just in the truck, just getting ready. Going to head down to the container, just tidying up in here a little bit. Quite a good night's sleep, apart from the bottle banks getting emptied first thing in the morning. But this is my view. I'll give you this look because it's Melix, Melix, Melix. What have you to wake up to in the morning? Then we've got... Someone's obviously coming in this morning to that space there. So that's us all done for the day. Obviously, I can't film too much when I'm too busy meeting you guys and trying to run the shop in the container. It's just gone five o'clock. I'm absolutely knackered from being on our feet all day, but it's so nice to meet all you guys and hearing you guys like watch my YouTube and stuff. It means a lot to me. I'm not going to bother filming tomorrow because there's nothing that I can film and I'd rather actually meet you guys in person. So as always, thank you very much for your comments. Um, I see the same people coming back on my videos commenting every week and I do I really, really appreciate them and I read every single one. Thank you for subscribing and um, thank you for all the support as always. Thanks guys. Where is it? <laughs> Where's my back and roll? <laughs> Did I just say that? God. Let's go. Oh, my phone's singing. Oh, I can't even see because my screen's so dirty. Um, 